was a choice faced every night by thousands of Americans, sesame chicken or beef with broccoli. America's love affair with Chinese food goes back to the 1800s in the days of the railroads. Well, today, no food court would seem complete without a Chinese joint. And chances are fair that that place will be part of the enormous chain we get to know better tonight. Here's John Berman. What if I told you that this jumping and gyrating makes your rice taste better? The person that inspired me the most would be my mom. That a good cry can make for a great egg roll. Hopefully someday I'll become like her. That a morning hike. Look how beautiful it is. Can sell 65 million pounds of orange chicken. If I told you that, you might say, no way. But the fact is, there is a way. The panda way. You know, panda, we're really not uh, selling Chinese food. You know, our real purpose is about developing people. A little bit of beef mixed veggie and... Andrew Chung is the co-CEO of the Panda Restaurant Group. Think Panda Express, the Chinese food chain with nearly 1,400 restaurants and 18,000 employees. And yes, he sells more than 65 million pounds of orange chicken every year. But he swears the key ingredient to this chicken isn't a sauce or a spice, but... I think the biggest thing about Panda is the people that cares about what they do. You sell a lot of food. Yes. What's more important here, food or caring? Caring. But you can't eat caring. You certainly can. Churn calls all this the Panda Way. It's really a four-point action plan that he demands of all his employees. But Healthy I'm lifestyle, learning. that's why he took me hiking, continuous well, learning, um, developing others, and acknowledging crazy. others. When you discover life differently, who knows what the positive results are? When you do life a certain way, it's bound to give you a, a higher level of probability to succeed. And our guiding values... If it all sounds a little touchy-feely, like a giant self-help group, that's because it's exactly what it is. Churn is something of a self-help addict. His current favorite is Landmark Education, a sometimes controversial human potential seminar that calls for personal transformation through revealing everything and creating new meaning. My favorite today is probably Landmark. Okay, but I have done a lot. What have you done? Give me a We have done Seven Habits. We have done Life Academy and uh, Dale Carnegie. The totality is, is that, you know, life is about sort of buffet of learning. He says these programs have been a huge part of his own growth from a Chinese immigrant who arrived here speaking no English in 1966 to a corporate titan. He worked his way through college and opened his first restaurant with his wife and father in 1973. Have you succeeded in life? It's a process. You know, there's a lot more to do. There are some areas I've done very well. and some areas I'm continuing to learn. Panda's revenues were more than $1.4 billion last year. Not bad. But again, remember, Churung swears that's not his number one goal. What do you consider to be the most important part of your job? Get people to change. Change the way they see things. Be accountable. And that's why one Saturday every few weeks, he hosts forums like this at Panda headquarters outside Pasadena. After they dance, they call this the Zumba, they basically hold a giant motivational self-help session. We also have established strategies as well as goals. And if these forums aren't enough, there's a scholarship fund to help managers attend landmark training programs. They are strongly, strongly encouraged to go. If I want to be a manager at Panda, do I have to go to Landmark or some kind of self-help group? I wish you would. That sounds like a yes. Yes. Is there any resentment? I believe most people here see that as a necessity to, to be successful in this company. I'm really inspired by your energy, your participation. Thank you very much. 
And truthfully, at their weekend retreats, there is an astonishing lack of cynicism and a palpable sense of purpose. There's a lot of hugging, I understand, that goes on. It makes people feel good. Hugging is a good thing. Good thing. It may make for a healthy workplace environment, though it doesn't necessarily make for a healthy meal. I enjoyed your orange chicken yesterday, mm -hmm. but I don't feel like it made me lose weight or, or get healthier. I mean, it's, there is something kind of ironic about the leader of a giant company that makes not fast food, but yummy, not necessarily unfattening food, preaching to his people they need to be healthier. Well, I, I, think, I think you've got to have some fun in life. Maybe he's right. There is something behind the fact this man sells more than 65 million pounds of chicken every year. And really, it's not his cooking. You don't really know how to cook. What I'm doing is different cooking, isn't it? I'm cooking up some good chemistry. I'm John Berman for Nightline in Rosemead, California.